Welcome to this lecture on making one piece in velvet pillow covers. In this session, we will explore all the essential supplies you will need to bring your pillow cover projects to life. By the end of this lecture, you will have a clear understanding of the tools and materials required to create stunning pillow covers. Essential supplies. What you will need the first thing you need is a fabric. Fabric is the foundation of your pillow cover. Choose a fabric that suits your style and complements your home decor. Options include cotton, linen and polyester. I am using a cotton fabric here. The next thing you will need is scissors. You will need both small and large scissors for cutting fabric. Small scissors are handy for precise cuts and trimming threads while large scissors are ideal for cutting fabric to size. The next thing you will need a pins. Pins are essential for holding fabric layers together during sewing. Using them to secure fabric in place before stitching to ensure accurate seams. The next thing you will need is chalk and marker. Chalk or fabric markers are useful for marking fabric before cutting and sewing. They allow you to outline measurements and seam lines accurately without leaving permanent marks on your fabric. The next thing you will need is a measuring tape. A measuring tape is essential for taking accurate measurements of your fabric and ensuring your pillow cover fits perfectly. The next you need a cutting mat as a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, our cutting mat with grid lines can serve as a substitute for measuring and cutting fabric with precision. The next thing you will need a matching thread. Choose thread that matches the color of your fabric for a seamless finish. Ensure you have enough thread to complete your entire project without running out. The next you will need is sewing machine. A reliable sewing machine is essential for stitching your pillow covers together efficiently. Ensure your machine is in good working condition and properly threaded with matching thread. The next you need is a iron. An iron is crucial for pressing fabric before sewing to create crisp edges and seams. Make sure your iron is set to the appropriate heat setting for your fabric type. The next and last thing you will need is a pillow foam. Don't forget the pillow foam. Ensure you have a pillow insert that fits the dimensions of your pillow cover to achieve a snug and professional looking result. With these essential supplies in hand, you are well equipped to embark on your journey of creating beautiful one piece in velvet pillow covers. Whether you are a beginner or experienced sewer, Having the right tools and materials will set you up for success. So let's gather our supplies and get ready to sew. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and let's make this learning experience enjoyable and rewarding for everyone. Welcome to lecture 3 of our course on making one piece in velvet pillow covers. In this session, we will cover the importance of ironing your fabric before cutting and sewing. Why ironing fabric is important? Ironing your fabric ensures that it is smooth and free of wrinkles and creases. This makes it easier to work with and results in a neater finished product. Wrinkled fabric can lead to inaccurate cutting resulting in misaligned seams and uneven edges. Ironing your fabric beforehand helps ensure precise cuts. Ironing your fabric before sewing gives your finished project a more polished and professional appearance. It contributes 
to the overall quality of your pillow cover. So let's move in ironing your fabric. Place your ironing uh, board or any uh, table or any flat surface near your cutting area. Lay out your fabric on the ironing board or any flat surface ensuring it is flat and wrinkle free. Set your iron to the appropriate heat setting for the type of fabric you are using. Refer to the fabric care label for guidance. Begin ironing the fabric from one edge moving the iron smoothly across the surface in straight lines. Continue ironing until the entire fabric piece is smooth and free of wrinkles. After ironing, check the fabric for any remaining wrinkles or creases. If necessary, iron those areas again until they are smooth. Ironing your fabric before cutting and sewing is a crucial step in the pillow making process. It ensures accuracy in cutting contributes to the professional appearance of your finished project and makes the sewing process smoother overall. By following the steps outlined in this lecture, you will be well on your way to creating beautifully iron fabric ready for your pillow covers. So let's grab our irons and fabric. Welcome to lecture 4 of our course on making one piece in velvet pillow covers. In this session, we will discuss the importance of measuring your pillow foam accurately without adding seam allowance and the benefits it offers. Importance of accurate measurement. Accurately measuring your pillow foam is crucial to ensure that your pillow cover fits perfectly. Lay your pillow foam flat on a surface ensuring it's fully extended and not compressed. Use a measuring tape or ruler to measure the width and length of the pillow foam. So first we will measure the width of our pillow foam. So mine width is uh, 18 inches and now we will uh, measure the length of the pillow foam and it's also 18 inches so my pillow foam is 18 inches by 18 inches make sure write down these measurements exactly as they are without adding extra allowance for seams so its benefits without seam allowance by measuring your pillow foam without adding seam allowance you ensure that your pillow cover fits snugly around the pillow, giving it a tailored and professional look. This method eliminates the need to guess or estimate seam allowances, resulting in more accurate measurements and a better fitted finished product. Pillows with covers that fit snugly without excess fabric look more professional and polished. Measuring without seam allowance reduces fabric waste and saves time since you don't have to trim excess fabric later. Measuring without seam allowance eliminates the guesswork involved in determining how much extra fabric to add for seams. So, measuring your pillow foam accurately without adding seam allowance is essential for creating a well fitted one piece envelop pillow cover by following these steps outlined. Welcome to lecture 5 of our course on making one piece envelop pillow covers. In this session we will cover the simple yet essential steps of marking your fabric according to your pillow form measurements and pinning it securely before cutting. So first prepare your workspace. Find a flat surface to work on such as a table or cutting mat ensuring there is enough space for your fabric. Uh, so before cutting your fabric, 
lay your fabric flat on the work space smoothing out any wrinkles and before cutting we will need to cut a salvage part first so i'm going to use my pair of scissors and take a small snip in the fabric and this works any of the sort of lighter weight fabrics uh, with a super heavy denim it may not work now just make little notch and then rip it's very liberating so after ripping your fabric make sure to iron your fabric again remove all the wrinkles with pressing your fabric once you press your fabric fold your fabric and now going to cut fabric according to our pillow form measurements but first we need to straight the fabric because the cut edge of the fabric will probably not be cut straight so using your ruler or drawstick line up the ruler and mark the straight edge with fabric marker or chalk it's a crosswise grain so before marking you need to know the formula of pillow cover to figure the width of your fabric cut take your pillow insert size and multiply it by 2 and add 5 inches so total width is 41 inches the length measurement is 18 inches so mark your fabric a straight line with your quilting ruler or any so after this repeat the process and draw straight line on another edge before cutting your fabric once you have marked your fabric it's time to pin it securely before cutting using sewing pins to pin the fabric layers together place the pins perpendicular to hold the layers firmly in place pay extra attention to the corners and edges of your fabric pin them securely to prevent any shifting or misalignment during cutting after pinning take a moment to review your markings and ensure they are clear and visible for cutting this helps maintain accuracy and prevents confusion during the cutting process marking and pinning your fabric before cutting ensures precise cuts resulting in a well fitted pillow cover pinning the fabric layers together prevents them from shifting or moving during cutting maintaining the integrity of your measurements with the fabric securely pinned you can cut along the marked lines smoothly and confidently leading to cleaner and more accurate cuts i will repeat the formula again to figure the width of your fabric cut take your pillow insert size and multiply it by 2 and add 5 inches the length cut is your pillow insert size my piece of fabric is cut at 18 inches the size of my pillow form 2 times plus 5 inches equal to 41 inch my length cut is the size of my pillow form which is 18 inches I like my pillow covers to be snug on the form so my finished pillow size is 17 inch with an 18 inches insert marking and pinning your fabric before cutting are essential steps in creating a well fitted one piece envelope pillow cover by following these steps outlined in this lecture you will be able to ensure precise cuts and achieve a professional looking finished product So let's grab our fabric measuring tools and pins. Let's get started on creating our beautiful pillow covers. If you have any question, feel free to ask and let's make this learning experience enjoyable and rewarding for everyone. Welcome to lecture 6 of our course on making one piece in velo pillow cover. In this session we will focus on the essential step of folding the hem and pinning to prepare for sewing. First prepare your fabric lay your fabric flat on a clean surface with the wrong side facing up using a ruler or measuring tape to measure and mark the desired width of the hem along the edge of the fabric usually the desired width of the hem is half an inch or 1 inch Make small marks 
with a fabric marker or chalk fold the edge of the fabric up towards the wrong side aligning it with the mark line this creates the first fold of the hem use an iron to press the folded edge flat this will create a crisp crease and hold the fold in place for a double fold hem fold the fabric again along the same line hiding the raw edge within the fold ensure the folded edge is still aligned with the mark line use the iron to press the folded edge flat once more this secures the hem in place and creates a neat finish repeat the process on another hem So next step is pinning your hem starting at one end of the hem use straight pins to pin the folded fabric in place along the edge insert the pins to the edge of the fabric and space them evenly apart make sure to catch both layers of fabric in each pin work your way along the entire length of the hem pinning pinning as you go make sure the folded edge remains aligned with the mark line and that the fabric is smooth and flat as you approach the end of the hem overlap the pins slightly to ensure the fabric stays secure folding the hem is a crucial step in preparing your fabric for sewing By following these steps outlined in this lecture you will be able to create a neat and sturdy hem that adds durability and aesthetic appeal to your pillow cover so let's grab our fabric and iron and let's get started on the folding those hems if you have any questions feel free to ask and let's make this learning experience enjoyable and rewarding for everyone Welcome to lecture 7 of our course on making one piece in velvet pillow covers. In this session we will cover sewing your hem while removing pins along the way for a smoother sewing process. So first you need to prepare your sewing machine. Ensure your sewing machine is set up on a stable surface and threaded with matching thread. So next step is position your fabric. Place the fabric under the press of foot of your sewing machine starting with one of the folded and pinned hems begin sewing along the folded edge of the fabric a few back stitching at the starting point to secure the seam as you sew along the hem remove the pins one by one just before the needle reaches them This prevents the pins from interfering with the sewing machine and ensures a smoother sewing process. Sew along the folded edge of the fabric, keeping a consistent seam allowance. This is usually around one quarter inch to one half inch from the edge, depending on your preference. And then continue top stitching along our hem. Thank you. 
when you reach the end point a few back stitch to secure the seam and then cut the thread trim any loose threads from the fabric and inspect the hem to ensure it is securely sewn and free of any missed stitches here you can see how i top stitched the hem next i will do the same process on another short edge of the fabric so let's do it Here you can see how I top stitched the hem. Trim any loose threads from the fabric and inspect the hem to ensure it is securely sewn and free of any missed stitches. Sewing your hem while removing pins along the way is a helpful technique to ensure a smooth and hazel free sewing process. By following the steps outlined in this lecture, you will be able to sew your hems neatly and efficiently. Let's grab our sewing machines and finish our pillow covers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and let's make this learning experience enjoyable and rewarding for everyone. Welcome to lecture 8 of our course. In this session, we will learn how to fold the fabric with correct measurements and how to pin your fabric for creating a one piece in with a pillow cover with neatly folded edges. First thing you need to do is to uh, lay your fabric right side up on your table and you are going to mark the center of the fabric along the long edge on the top and the bottom edges of the fabric. So this is my center point and now we are going to take one side and fold it over so the formula is the fold to be the size of my pillow form divided by 2 minus 1 half inches. So our pillow form is 18 inches divided by 2 is 9 inches minus 1 half inches is 8 1 half inches. So we are going to measure this and that's about where we need it to be from the folded edge to the pin is 8 1 half inches then I'm going to do the other side fold it over and I want it to be the same from the pin to the other half other fold is going to be 8 1 half inches so let's go from the pin to the fold and there's 8 1 half inches once the fabric is folded to the Correct measurements use straight pins to secure the folded edges in place. Wear pins at regular intervals along the folded edges to keep them in position during swing. Pay special attention to the corners of the fabric pieces. Ensure that they are folded and pinned accurately to create neat and sharp corners in the final pillow covers. Before proceeding to sew, Double check the measurements and alignment of the folded and pinned fabric pieces. 
This will help prevent any errors during the sewing process. Accurate folding and pinning are essential for achieving a professional looking pillow cover. Proper alignment ensures that the fabric pieces fit together seamlessly, resulting in clean edges and corners in the finished product. By following the techniques outlined in this lecture, you will be able to fold and pin your fabric pieces accurately in preparation for sewing your one piece in well pillow cover. Remember to take your time and double check your measurements to ensure the best possible outcome. Let's proceed with confidence and create beautiful pillow covers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and let's make this learning experience enjoyable and rewarding for everyone. Welcome to lecture 9 of our course. In this session, we will cover the process of sewing both edges of the pillow cover with a half inch seam allowance ensuring secure stitching and professional results. Sewing the edges of the pillow cover with precision and attention to detail is essential for achieving a polished finish. In this lecture, we will focus on sewing both edges with a consistent half inch seam allowance. Ensure your sewing machine is threaded with the appropriate thread and set up with a straight stitch foot. Begin sewing at one corner of the pillow cover, back stitching at the starting point to secure the stitches. Sew along the edge of the fabric, maintaining a steady half inch seam allowance. As you sew along the edge, remove the pins one by one just before they reach the presser foot. This prevents the pins from interfering with the sewing machine and ensures smooth stitching. Sew all the way to the corner. The fabrics, the fabric as needed to maintain the half inch seam allowance. Continue sewing. Stitch at the end of the seam to secure the stitches. Raise up your presser foot and cut the thread. Once the first edge is sewn, repeat the same process for sewing the second edge of the pillow cover. Backstitch at the starting and ending points for added security. So continue sewing. After sewing both edges, trim any excess threads and fabric from the seams to tidy up the edges and reduce bulk. By following these steps outlined in this lecture and sewing both edges of the pillow cover with a half inch seam allowance, you will achieve secure stitching and professional looking results. Remember to remove pins during sewing to ensure smooth stitching and avoid any interference with the sewing machine. Let's continue our journey of creating beautiful pillow covers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and let's make this learning experience enjoyable and rewarding for everyone. Welcome to lecture 10 of our course. In this session, we will enhance the durability and finish of our one piece in well pillow cover by adding a zigzag stitch to the edges. A zigzag stitch is an excellent choice for finishing the edges of fabric providing both strength and a neat appearance. In this lecture, we will demonstrate how to apply a zigzag stitch to the edges of our pillow cover for added durability. So first thing you need to set your sewing machine to the zigzag stitch mode. Adjust the stitch length and width as desired depending on the fabric and your preference. Begin sewing along the edges of the pillow cover 
guiding the fabric under the press of foot to ensure the zigzag stitch catches the raw edges. Position the fabric so that the needle of the sewing machine sews close to the raw edge of the fabric. This will encase the raw edges within the zigzag stitch preventing fraying. Continue sewing the edge of the pillow cover applying the zigzag stitch consistently. Take your time to ensure even stitching and coverage along the entire edge. Once you have finished sewing around edge, back stitch at the end to secure the zigzag stitching in place. Repeat the same process on another edge of the fabric to continue sewing. After completing the zigzag stitching, trim any excess threads from the edges of the pillow cover for a clean finish. You have, you have reached the final step of creating your one piece envelope pillow cover by applying a zigzag stitch to the edges. You have reinforced the seams and prevented fraying ensuring the durability and longevity of your pillow cover. If you have any question about zigzag stitch, feel free to ask. So let's move in next step. Welcome to lecture 11 of our course. In this session, we will cover the final steps of our project, turning the pillow cover right side up and ironing it for a crisp finish. Turning the pillow cover right side up and ironing it is the last step before inserting the pillow foam. This step ensures that our pillow cover looks neat and professional. Carefully reach inside the pillow cover through the opening and pull the fabric through. Turning it right side up, use your fingers to gently push out the corners for a smooth appearance. Next, you need to heat up your iron to the appropriate setting for your fabric. If you are unsure, start with a lower heat setting and gradually increase it as needed. Lay the pillow cover flat on the ironing table, ensuring that all seams are smooth and laying flat. Gently press the iron onto the fabric, moving it in a smooth and steady motion. Avoid dragging the iron as this can distort the fabric. Pay special attention to the seams, pressing them flat to create a professional finish. You can use a pressing cloth or a piece of fabric to protect delicate fabrics from direct heat. Continue ironing the entire surface of the pillow cover, working in sections if necessary. Make sure to iron both the front and back side for a uniform appearance. Once you have finished ironing, carefully inspect the pillow cover for any wrinkles or creases. Use the iron to touch up any areas that need additional pressing. Congratulations, you have successfully turned your pillow cover right side up and ironed it for a polished finish. With this final step complete, your pillow cover is now ready to be filled with a pillow foam and displayed in your home. Welcome to the last lecture of our course. In this session, we will cover the final step of our project. Inserting the pillow foam is the final touch that brings our project to completion. With the pillow foam in place, our pillow cover will be ready to adorn our living space with style and comfort. So first, you need to ensure that your pillow foam is clean 
and free of any debris or wrinkles. Fluff it up to restore its shape if necessary. Locate the opening that was left for turning the pillow cover right side out. Gently open up the seam to create a wide enough opening for inserting the pillow foam. Carefully insert the pillow foam into the opening of the pillow cover. Start by pushing one corner of the pillow foam into the cover. Then work your way around ensuring that the foam is evenly distributed inside the cover. Once the pillow foam is inside the cover, adjust its position as needed to ensure a smooth and uniform appearance. Pay attention to the corners and edges to make sure they are properly filled. Congratulations, you have completed the final step of our project by inserting the pillow foam. Thank you for following along in this course. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to ask. Happy saving and may your projects continue to bring you joy and satisfaction. Congratulations on completing the one piece envelope pillow cover section. Throughout this journey, you have learned essential saving techniques and skills to create a beautiful and functional pillow cover from start to finish. Let's recap what you have accomplished. You began by familiarizing yourself with the basics of saving, including essential tools and supplies needed for the project. You learned how to measure and cut the fabric accurately, ensuring a perfect fit for your pillow cover. You ironed the fabric to remove wrinkles and create a smooth surface for sewing. With precision and attention to detail, you sewed the fabric together to form the fill envelope style pillow cover. To form the envelope style pillow cover, ensuring clean seams and professional results. You folded and pressed the hems, sewed them securely, and applied a zigzag stitch to reinforce the edges and prevent fraying. You turned the pillow cover right side up, ironed it for a crisp finish and inserted the pillow foam, completing the project with fine ease. By mastering these techniques, you have not only created a beautiful pillow cover, but also gained valuable sewing skills that you can apply to future projects. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced seamstress, this course has equipped you with the knowledge and confidence to tackle.